I want to eat that gold. I want to take a little piece. Doesn't it look edible? Mm. Is that just me? Hey everyone, Phil here. Welcome to the channel. Evil Genius 2 is out on Steam today. So I'm going to be playing it right now. Oh. Hold on. Who's this? Hello. Hello. We've got Ellen joining us as well through the magic of modern technology. That's, that's not a real phone. Don't worry about that. But Ellen is going to be joining us, so that's going to be super fun. We'll just dive straight in. New game. Get our head around starting a new layer. Let's get to it. Okay, right. It's the first screen, Ellen, and the first major decision. Mm. Who do we play as? What do you reckon? So we've got two returning characters in Max and obviously Red Ivan, who's made his way all the way up to evil genius status instead of mere henchmen. And then we've also got Zalika with one of the finest hairdos in the biz and Emma. So what's, I don't know, what's your call? I mean, you're already very aware that I'm a big fan of Emma because we have been talking about it a lot at work, but I also recently started playing as Zalika and I think she might be my favorite because um, as you can see there, she has a repair ability, which is possibly the most useful ability I've come across. It just fixes any item in her vicinity. Well, I tell you what, let's embrace the new. Let's go with Zalika. We've done it. I've clicked the button. You've got three <laughs> islands to choose from this time. We're going with the very first option, Crown Gold, your classic tropical paradise casino. So we've arrived on our, our new tropical island home. Mm, in style. Watch your head there. I'm not confident that hair was going to get through that. I think she probably <laughs> had to stoop down. It's not as glamorous, though. She had to do like a limbo under the... <laughs> Here we are, then. This oh, is she, is, she is sprinting to the door. She is ready for this. Well, who wouldn't want Look at to... Look go. Who wouldn't want to run into this sort of two-corridor <laughs> home? <laughs> Um, do you want to start off by making the smart move that none of us made when we played it the first time and sell the casino equipment? <laughs> Ellen wants me to sell everything straight away. I think uh, <laughs> I think the tutorial man's got other ideas though, Ellen. We've got to build a vault, otherwise where would all the gold go? And I'm really looking forward to showing everybody what the gold looks like because, oh my goodness. Like, I've mentioned it before, but the gold looks so good. <laughs> You're just a magpie, Phil, if that's the thing you're most excited about in this game. So here's the minions. As in the first game, uh, minions will break through solid rock to create the room. And then they will go to the depot, which is over here. This is where items arrive. And then they will bring it back. They've got a new tool in this game, though, called the Lair Builder. It's the Lair Builder 5000. It is the 5000, the best model. There's the Lair Builder. <laughs> So there portable. It is. It's, a, it's so portable and, as you'll see in a minute, capable of housing things much bigger than it would seem. Here we go. That's a door inside there. <laughs> oh, do mind out, though. She was nearly crossed by that door. Um, again, veterans of the first game will remember that the barracks is the most important room in the entire game and possibly in life uh, because this is where lockers live and lockers determine how many minions you get and minions win. I was trying to think of like a clever rhyme. I lost it. Minions are important. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, first reward. Nice one. You right, Zalika? <laughs> overseeing things. Let's, in fact, I've been, I am a magpie because I've been distracted straight away. <laughs> look at all the different sparkle things going on there to make that gold look amazing. I want to eat that gold. I want to take a little piece. Doesn't it look edible? Mm. Is that just me? I bet no, that's delicious. It, looks like it will break your teeth. All the mini all the uh, geniuses rather have a kind of variation of this do it now ability, whereby if you get them in an area where you want stuff doing, done quickly, activate this ability, they will do stuff quickly, and there they are doing stuff quickly. So here's a little spin on an old classic means of getting rid of bodies. Previously, you'd use a refrigerator. You take the dead bodies of unfortunate tourists or more likely agents and you'd store them in a sort of a meat locker. Here you've got an incinerator. Right, the lockers are built. There they are. So we've got a higher minion capacity and also $7,500. What Tutorial Man is telling us right now is that the more radio repeaters have, um, you have them, the more signal strength you have, the more signal strength, the more criminal networks you can set up on the world stage, which is where we're about to go. Right now, 
Here we are. Oh, there it is. And basically, later on in the game, when you start to recruit henchmen, they will, a different henchman will appear and they will have their own specific region. So Jubei, for example, you will find Jubei over here. Let's launch a scheme here. This one's a bank robbery. So this scheme will give us just pure cash, but it will also generate heat. So the more schemes you run in a particular area, the more you will uh, attract the attention of the goody goodies in this, uh, in this area. And yeah, we want to be recruiting a scientist. At the cost of two workers, 30 seconds, and 10 heats in the region, but we get one scientist out of it. Ah, oh, what's two workers, really? He looks positively giddy <laughs> at the chance to work with us, but... He's in the right job, isn't he? Probably just there. Oh, is that? <laughs> Are you okay in there? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have just lost a minion. Just there. Oh, what was that? <laughs> you okay in there? <laughs> oh, well, okay, maybe they're making it. Because you haven't confirmed oh, it. Oh, that's it's not right, official yeah. Yet, so. We're sort of looking at the. Oh, yeah, what, you want to get. What's Salika doing there? She's got she's one leg up, like, like a zen. Oh. Yeah, she's doing. What is that? That's tree pose, I think, isn't it? Again, mm. that is very dignified for you. You spare time. You wouldn't catch right, we... Max in a downward dog whilst he's working, would you? Oh, he has not been below his waist for <laughs> decades. <laughs> he has. He can't touch his toes. But there we go. I mean, look at what we've achieved so far. Like, we've got loads of gold. We've got quite a few minions working for us. Okay, we can now recruit different minion types. So. There are three different families of minions here that we can see. Right now, we're just focusing on the science tree because that's what we've unlocked up in the northern um, Arctic Circle area. And it wants us to recruit two of them. So we'll do that. But there's also deception minion types and muscle, um, which are pretty self-explanatory. I mean, that looks like science to me. That is science. That's a, that's a bomb. That's what he's doing there. He's drawing a big bomb. <laughs> Uh, and you although can't, uh, you can't. the science teacher is thinking about grub. You... Oh no, it's not him. <laughs> it's, it's someone in another room. Available. We're fine. Oh, there look at that. You new... get their headband and everything. Zeynep Savaloy. Have we got a new <laughs> favourite minion now? I feel oh, like we might do. Oh, I think we They're might. a magic enthusiast <laughs> and a game master. They, wanna... they host a weekly tabletop RPG. I don't know when he gets away to host a weekly tabletop RPG, but I appreciate we have a dungeon master in our midst. There's Zainab, he's making a friend. I think Savaloy's saying, yeah, yeah, it's weekly, and you just jump in any time, you just cut <laughs> up a character. <laughs> okay, now we can do some research. Excellent, so this is split into all these different categories. Right now we're focusing on minions, but we could also advance our lair or our traps. I imagine this would be probably a favorite with some of the veterans from EG1, right, getting st mm. stuck straight into traps. Um, <laughs> Now, if I know anything about pesky investigators, it's that they like to arrive via boat from exactly here. Look at that. Perfect timing. What, I mean, why would you get off the boat? That looks amazing. There's a pesky oh. investigator though. Chris right, Pudding. so we can... Chris Pudding. <laughs> you picked the wrong day, Chris Pudding. The names are incredible. They are, So they? we can just tag him for termination. There's no one about. Oh no, we've got a normal minion trying it. What are you doing? She's got she's got good reflexes though. Right. She's her vitality is actually all right. If only we had a henchman. Oh, I need, I haven't gone into high alert. That's my problem. Ah well. I mean, too Jing little, too did late it single-handedly. So. Okay, she's one of our favourites now. Yeah. Jing, a baby, isn't going anywhere. She's got a sweet tooth. Get that woman some ice cream. She deserves it. Yeah, straight to the mess, or actually, probably straight to the infirmary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're truly a global operation, let's face it, because we've got, we're operating up here in Greenland and then down in the southern tip of Africa. So, I mean, that spans a lot of globe. Um, we're training scientists and muscle minions. Jing is getting attended to, which I'm very pleased about. She deserves um, it. She is, if we have to award MVP of this playthrough, it's got to go to her. It's or, either Jing or Savaloy. 
Mr. Savaloy, who is mm. hard up. Oh no, that's not him. I haven't seen Savaloy in here in quite a while. Where have you, do you what think are you he's, doing? Do you think he's um, hosting a D&D session right now? He's eating. There he is. He's been eating for ages. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, well, it's definitely gone to Jing then. You've, you were so close. And you know what else? We haven't sold a single bit of dust-covered casino stuff. So I think that's a sort of moral victory in a way. Mm. So we will leave it there for right now. Obviously, there is plenty more to explore in the world of Evil Genius 2, and we will be doing so uh, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down there. And also, this is a good time to remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more like this. Uh, we will catch you next time. Your minions are in combat. <laughs> nice.